Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today, I've got some new tools to show you guys. And I think that some of these are gonna be a game changer. We've all had these instances where you gotta plug something in, run it over to your workbench, try and get your work done. It doesn't quite work out that way, now does it? So, I got a couple things to show to you. First up is the Milwaukee. You take a look at this guy, what do you think it is? It's a heat gun. It's got a safety, a light so you can see what you're doing. Portable heat gun operates on the Milwaukee M18 style battery. And the cool thing about heat guns is they're almost mandatory if you're using the compressed hoses, if you're working with fittings for water. You heat the hose up and it makes the hose go on much better. It reforms around the hose bar much better and it gives you a more proper seal. When you're working with compressed air lines, it helps make the hoses more pliable. A heat gun is excellent for heat shrink. You guys ever use large heat shrink? Uh, let's say you're refitting the cord. You don't want to plug in your stupid heat gun and then run it over to wherever you're working. But take a look at this. It's small. It's portable, and this little guy gets very hot, very, very hot. But I'm going to tell you something else. I went to Home Depot, and I was looking for batteries, and then they showed me a surprise. Who to thunk it? You get a two-pack of batteries. You get the XC 8.0 battery, which is the big boy, and then you get the, XC, the CP 3.0. So you get a 3.0 and an 8.0 battery. And I do believe I spent $160 for two batteries. And you might think, oh my gosh, that's expensive. No way. Uh, that, for these style batteries, is a fantastic deal. These batteries have the rubberized underside, so it allows for a more quiet situation when, let's say you're gonna put your tool down. It does not tip over very easily, especially if I'm running this big boy. I want to show you guys around this tool. It's got rubberized rear cap. It's got a ladder hook. So when it's hot and you need to hang it on something so you don't set it down. But while I'm talking about the front, take a look at that. It is recessed and it's almost flush, almost. But that allows some accessories to attach to the front. But at the same time, it's recessed. So if it lays down, take a look at this. If you lay this guy down, it does not touch the surface. And that, that includes both sides. I can, I can flip it on both sides. See that? It won't touch the surface. So you can lay it down anywhere, and you don't have to worry about burning something, unlike every single other AC-powered hot air station, hot air gun that I've used. You have to worry about burning something. So guys, this one right here, this is the Milwaukee, let's see, it's the 2688-20. Oh my gosh, this is going to make my life so much better. This is going to go in my roll around tool kit. I'll show you guys how I'm going to organize that later. Very cool that it's got the LED light on there because that is going to make a difference. And of course, Milwaukee batteries, infamous. That's a good system. The second thing I want to show you guys is an expansion on my capabilities. This right here, the Milwaukee motorized rotary tool. Now, it's not as good as I would like it to be because if it was me, I would like it to be a brushless motor. It does have a brush DC motor from what I can see, but it does have a speed dial that goes all the way up. And this guy, I'm not gonna turn it on, it's very loud. But then it's got a power. But the best part is it operates on these batteries right here, guys. And I have plenty of those. <clears throat> Along with my bit kit, it's perfect. So why would you get one of these rotary tools? Well guys, not only do you sometimes have to shave something off, but if you flush cut something, let's say a fastener breaks off, you use the grinding wheel to make it a flush surface, and then you use these cutoff wheels to make a pattern in there. So you can either show a flathead screwdriver in there and get some more uh, tension on it, or uh, you can help use this to get the, the fastener out. So fastener extraction, it's a huge plus. The grinding wheels, if you have a problem with rough edges on sheet steel, we all do, 
use the grinding wheel, grind it back down. I was using a file that just gets old. So the Milwaukee rotary tool, cordless, and it operates on these M12 batteries. Oh my gosh, I love these. Two tools that are going to expand my capabilities, and I love it. Thanks for watching, guys.